Mary Meat. This is Lag of the Scarlet uh, here for a follow up to my altar tour video. This video is going to go into a little bit more detail about the cat magic side of my altar. So, for those of you interested in that, uh, stick with me. And if you're interested in um, either the tiny craft or nature side of my altar, check out the descriptions in this video. Um, or the links in the posts that accompany this video if you're watching through um, the Hatchling Clan or Unicoven Amino community. This is the cat magic side of my altar. One of the very first things you'll notice is the big black cat statue. That is actually a statue of the Egyptian cat goddess Bastet. Bastet is my patron goddess and is a goddess of protection. And I also feel um, very connected to Bastet and representations of black cats because my familiar is a black cat named Shadow. She is 18 years old this month um, and I am very close to her as well. I have other representations of Bastet on my altar as well. The light colored wooden figurine is something I got when I was um, traveling with my parents and I use that to represent Bastet if I want to hold something during meditation or if I'm traveling. To the left you'll see a Black Panther. I actually use the Black Panther to represent Sekhmet which is the Egyptian goddess of war. Now Sekhmet is traditionally depicted as a lioness so I have, you know, been in communication with some communities that feel very strongly against using a Black Panther to represent Sekhmet. But the reason I do that is because there are some theories that Bastet, the pr pr protection goddess, and Sekhmet, the goddess of war, are actually aspects of the same um, deity. So I like using the black panther and the black cat because it kind of represents that duality. Now that's not something that floats everybody's boat, but it's my altar, so I don't particularly care what they think. I also have this cute little sign that says cats are like potato chips. Probably not the most esoteric thing ever, but my dad got it for two dollars and I think it's adorable, so I like to stick it on there. Um, I also have two lucky cats that I like to include on my altar. They were gifts from my little brother over, you know, however many years. So I like to include those things on there as well. I hope you enjoyed that little um, tour of the cat magic side of my first permanent altar. For those of you interested in knowing a little bit more about the tiny craft side or the nature side, um, check out the links in the post that I wrote to include with this for those of you in the Hatchling Clan or Unicoven. And if you're watching this on YouTube, um, here in a second, if I can figure out how to do it, little cards should pop up saying, hey, you should check these videos out. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, post them in the comment section or feel free to reach out to me through my Mino community.